What you're seeing here on the right hand side of your screen is a live picture from our Jim Gardner. He's above Seminole and Bob Mills Sky News 9. And Jim, as you're kind of looking at this this morning, I mean, you were there as these storms rolled through last night, even seeing the initial damage. What are you seeing this morning? Well, Kobe, it's uh, it's about what we saw last night, but this is a, the, at the southwest corner of 377 and 270 on the southwest corner. And this part really got hit really hard. You can see that one big, huge building on the right-hand side of the screen completely got demolished. Uh, the trees are all down down here, twisted off, you know, as it traveled to the north northeast here. But uh, this is one big section of Seminole that got hit really hard due to this tornado. And, uh, you know, Kobe, like uh, me and David Payne were talking last night, this uh, storm was almost two miles wide. So it wasn't just one big long track tornado. It was dropping vortices everywhere inside that two miles. So that's why some of the damage is, you'll be in areas where there's no damage at all. You get in that area where everything is uh, hit, you know, so that's from those vortices dropping out in that uh, big two mile circulation there. So again, a lot of damage here in Seminole. And Seminole is a great, uh, beautiful old, uh, the main street was just downtown was beautiful and uh but you know like with all oklahomans everybody's going to come together they're going to clean up this uh mess and they're going to start over jim garpoint live from bob mail scotty's nine back to you jim great job in the air and uh oh the word so poetic uh from the folks of seminole we are the heart of the oil and gas industry. We are where your blue jeans come from and we are gonna be okay. We can rebuild. Still incredible that no one was injured and we're hearing more stories of how people uh, brace themselves inside of bank vaults, brace themselves inside of gun vaults, anything to stay safe. And so many thank yous coming in for our weather team for keeping everyone uh, very ahead of that storm so they could take shelter.